Hi and welcome to another NAT Vapor review. Today's review is another e-liquid from Best Sig Liquid. Um, last two reviews were a mixture of rich tobacco flavor and a more mellow Virginia type cigarette um, a flavor. Today we're going to sample the one of the Turkish blends and it's called Turk Torque. Yep. It's uh, again from the same company, Best Sig Liquid. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's have a look at the website. What they describe Turk is a fine example of a classic Turkish tobacco rich, flavorsome with slight spice. Uh, we're going to try it on the um, uh, Van Dive Berserker Mouth to Long RDA, although it's not, I don't exactly um, overly keen using this tank because it gets so stiff. You can see my review about it previously, but everything else is taken with something else, so uh, the flavor is excellent on this tank. The flavor was never a problem. The flavor is in par with the with the Vandy vape with the Geek Vape Amit. Um, so it's excellent vape, uh, flavor and it's perfect for sampling e-liquids on. But the problem is that to use it on a daily basis is a problem with the stiffness of the tank. To undo the tank and undo the cap and undo the barrel is just a pain. But um, the flavor is excellent. So as I said in the previous reviews. Um, one of the colleagues in my office has bought a sample pack with a few bottles and he's given it to me to um, um, to see what I think about the flavors and um, to review them basically. So I uh, I'm going through his um, sample pack that he's given me. Um, so this is the third one in the line and it's a Turkish tobacco. And I said previously in the uh, previous reviews that they advertise that all the tobacco um, flavors on their website is um, naturally extracted tobacco based. So, as you know, we, I love naturally extracted tobacco and I'm always on the lookout for a good tobacco flavor. And uh, this is a chance for me to test this Turkish. Now, this Turkish has got quite a lot to stand up to because, you know, naturallyextractedtobacco.com has got an excellent Turkish blend and Songkyo Turkish, I think, is superb. I vape this non-stop, the Turkish. And also, Yaelik has got, Yaelik.com um, has got uh, excellent premium um, Turkish tobacco as well that I use uh, regularly. It's not naturally extracted, but it's a very, very nice flavor. So we'll give this a go. Um, it's a zero nicotine, this one, as the other ones. It's a sample pack. Um, I added 1.3 mil of 72 milligram to make this nine. And it's a 50-50, but on the website you've got an option um, if you order bigger quantities, like a 50 mil, uh, you got an option from one milligram nick to 31, and also the VGPG ratio you can is quite uh, excessive. I mean, you could buy the 100 PG or 80 VG, and all in between. So it's quite varied. So let's give this a go. First of all, give it a smell. Hmm, smells interesting. It smells quite a spicy rich flavor to it let's try it so it's a freshly wicked I'm gonna give it as you know this is a RDA my skunk bottle is empty because I want to first sample it and see if I like it and if I like it then I could either fill up my skunk bottle or use it as a drip on another mod but since this mod was available, I decided might as well try it on this on, on this um, Van de Beep, uh, 80 watts squonk squonk mod. All right, I think I gave it enough juice. 
Now we have to line the holes on the barrel with the insert in the deck. Uh, right, I keep it on the third opening, a third hole, so it's a mouse to long draw. Let's make sure it's on. It's on 18 watts, reading at seven, at 0 0.7 ohms. Let's give it a go. Talk. Turk. Turk, I suppose this is palette. Very, uh, I didn't expect this flavor. I didn't expect this flavor. Well, very difficult to describe. This is not the classic Turkish that I know. There's a flavor here very Middle Eastern, uh, if I can put it this way, it's like some kind of spice that I s you smell sometimes when you go through um, markets in the Middle East. I don't think this is for me. Sorry. No. It's not my cup of tea at all. Um, how should I describe this flavor? If you ever been to Morocco, for instance, I, we went on holiday to Gibraltar and we passed the border into Morocco. And... Um, you go through various markets and they've got these, um, how do you call them? It's like a stand, you got coals on the top and you got this pipe and, and there's water bubbling. I can't remember the name this minute. Um, shisha maybe? And uh, they've got this spice that they put there and it's a very similar flavor to it. Let me give it a bit more juice. This is a very interesting flavor. I, didn't ex I did not expect this flavor at all. Oh, you see, that's the problem. The tank is now warm. Ah, there we go. Let's give it a bit more juice. it sorry I wonder if well <clears throat> it's not the Turkish tobacco that I love either from naturally extracted tobacco dot com or from Yelik it's a completely different type of Turkish. It's I don't know. It's a very odd flavor to it. No. I do not like it at all. I'm very sorry, Bessig Liquid. I mean, the last two were very good. This one is not to my liking at all. Um, they write on it a fine example of classic Turkish tobacco, rich flavorsome with slight spice. I don't know what the spice is, 
but this spice doesn't agree with me. Um, that's all I can say. I mean, you might enjoy this liquid. I don't. I can't put my finger on this spice but it's a very oriental spice I shouldn't say Middle Eastern oriental oriental or Middle Eastern I'm not sure myself it reminds me when we walk through the markets in in Morocco very interesting flavor um, it's spicy that's for sure it's rich in a sense that it's complex it's not very sweet at all but the overwhelming flavor is that spice and I'm not overly keen on that spice yeah. well this is it for the Turk. Turk. They've got other Turkish um, tobacco. I might try those one day. But as it goes for this one, Turk. It's not my type of vape. Anyway, until the next review, enjoy your vape and have a nice day. Bye bye for now.